All right, man, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button for that content. So, today we're going to be talking about Neo and his apology and non-apology about children transitioning into you know what. Let's get into it. have almost almost forgotten what the role of a parent is. Amen. It's like, okay, if your little boy comes to you and says, Daddy, I want to be a girl, and you just let him rock with that? You just let... Right. He's five. Right. And where did he get that if from? If you let this five-year-old boy decide to eat candy all day, he's going to do that. Exactly. Like, when, when did it become a good idea to let a five-year-old, let a six-year-old, let a 12-year-old make a life-changing decision for themselves? Right. When did that happen? Right. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. Said, quote, after much reflection, I'd like to express my deepest apologies to anyone I may have hurt with my comments on parenting and gender identity. I've always been an advocate of love and inclusivity in the LGBTQI plus community, so I understand how my comments could have been interpreted as insensitive and offensive. Gender identity is nuanced, and I can honestly admit I plan to better educate myself on the topic so I can approach future conversations with more empathy. At the end of the day, I lead with love and support everyone's freedom of expression and pursuit of happiness. First and foremost, I do not apologize for having an opinion on this matter. I am a 43-year-old heterosexual man raising five boys and two girls, okay? That's my reality. Now, if my opinion offended somebody, yeah, sure, I apologize for you being offended because that wasn't my intention. My intention is never to offend anybody. However, I'm entitled to feel how I feel. I was asked a question, and I answered the damn question, okay? I have no beef with the LBGTQIA plus community whatsoever. I ain't got no beef with y'all. Do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Do what you want to do with your kids. However, somebody asked my opinion on this matter, and this is how I feel. I will never be okay with allowing a child to make a decision that detrimental to their life. I will never be okay with that. I don't care. I, I definitely plan to educate myself a little bit more on this matter. However, I doubt that there's any book anywhere or any opinion that somebody's going to tell me that's going to make me okay with letting a child make a decision like that. That's just period, point blank, and that's how I feel. All right, man. That was Neo, man. Ah, man. So much, so much, so much to say. So much to say on this topic, man. I'm going to try to be careful with... uh, not getting us banned. <laughs> we ain't gonna get banned. Um, Neil's right, man. It's time for parents to take back their children. That's 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 it. Stop letting the alphabet community scare y'all into thinking that you they're being oppressed by you because. You disagree with the way they conduct themselves. Stop. You got to stop. Y'all got to stop acting like you're so afraid. I'm with Neo. If you're going to cancel me, then I guess I'm just going to have to be canceled. Because there's no way in the world you're going to tell me that a five-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, six-year-old, 10 year old 17 year old can choose their own gender you can't tell me that i'm not falling for it i don't care if they feel like a girl i don't care if they feel like a boy i don't care you can't tell me that it's okay for a child to make a decision that will be detrimental to them for the rest of their life. You don't know what can happen to a child mentally because there's no studies for it because this is new. Mm -hmm. So telling a child at five years old that they okay with them transitioning from a boy to a girl, knowing that maybe when they turn 18, 
they might question why did you let me do that as a parent? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can never let your child feelings and emotions supersede the responsibility of a parent. Mm -hmm. Never. Because children's emotions change with the wind. Mm -hmm. Oof, just like that. Today they might be this way. Tomorrow they might be this way. And I would argue that some adults are like that. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. when Neo's asked that question, I 100% agree with him. When you will become an adult, you can do whatever you want. But as a child, I'm responsible for you. If you do something, it falls on me. I'm not going to encourage you as a child to make a decision that will affect you for the rest of your life. So yeah. if you were a boy and you say you feel like a girl and I get your penis cut off and now you become 19, 20, 21 and you want to have children. Oh, yeah, they can take your sperm. But what if you start liking women? Then what? What if you want like it's just a catastrophe? That's how I feel. I agree with Neo. Yeah, um, I also agree with Neo, too, man. Um, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. That's why they have parents to guide them and put them on the right path. Now, I'm not saying parenting is the most perfect thing. Parenting can become very difficult. And uh, sometimes with you being a parent, you make poor choices and um, all because you want the child to feel safe and you want the child to feel love. Um, they're, they're, they're fearing that if you don't allow the child or if you don't speak about the child about this matter that they can go into depression that can they can do this that they can do that you know what i mean and i'm like look you know um let the child be a kid you know what i'm saying stop stop trying to force feed a child this adult information and turn them from a child to a grown man or a grown woman. Stop it. It's enough already that we have social media, which, you know, children are up on it 24 seven. It's enough that we have so many things that are exposed now to the world that a child is gonna see. It's enough of that already. Allow parents to be parents. Stop trying to micromanage parent uh micromanage uh parenting stop it because it's not to be micromanaged you know what i mean and i i, I don't i don't see how that of anything can fix what's going on with these kids i don't see how it could it can only make it worse my opinion Go so on. Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. Go ahead. so like I agree with Neil one hundred and ten percent, man. Now, now, mind you, I don't have problems with none of that community whatsoever. I really don't, you know. Just like he said, but what they do with their children and what I do with mine is totally different. You know what I'm saying? What I want to do with my kids is totally different, and I don't feel like nobody, even for them. I don't have no right telling them what they need to do with their child. That's what, what they do with their child. That's their business. So I don't feel like I had I, I should have somebody else try to tell me what to do with mods. You know what I mean? So I agree with him 110%, man. Like, cut that out, man. It's not cool, man. I don't know where on God's green earth we have lost our freedom of speech and our freedom to be able to make our own choices. Like, you know, it's just, no. It's not cool. Um, I think that uh, we have entered the realm of 
stable mental illness. <laughs> wow. So it's like a lot of people are mentally ill, but their society has made it normalized it to where it's stable now. So for you to argue with me that it's okay for you as a trans former, I'm going to say person who you okay with you being an adult and you are in front of children undressed you have to have a mental illness if you think that that's okay that's just the bottom line anybody that agrees with that somewhat has some type of un unstable mind frame I should say because everybody isn't mentally ill but you got to be unstable if you tell me as a person that it's okay for these people to display their private parts in front of children if you tell me that that's okay then i know that something's not going something's really going on upstairs with you too because as a child what i what i noticed with this whole thing is and this is how this is how weird this whole world has become when it comes to this situation yeah um a straight child can come home and tell their parents nowadays that they're in love with the opposite sex. And the parents will say to them, you don't know what love is. You don't know what love is. No, you're not. A child who says he's flamboyant or, or you know, gay can come home and tell the parent that he's in love with the same sex and a good portion of parents saying, okay, they will encourage it. I eat Dwayne Wade. You know what I'm saying? So that's how weird this whole society has become. Whereas they don't even want your children to be straight. <laughs> they want your children to be what they want them to be. And they don't respect you as a parent because they look at it like, well, if you were a good parent, you would let your kids be free. And we looking at them like, well, if we were a bad parent, we will let our kids be free. <laughs> yeah. And it's a tug yeah. of war because they want to take they want to take your children and convert them into whatever they want them to be. And by mm -hmm. a child is very, very impressionable. So if you can persuade a child, you could persuade a child very easily by telling them something. And it sounds good. There's a whole thing with the candy, getting the, the, the children to come to the truck with the candy. That's how that's persuasion. They tell you don't talk to strangers. This whole thing. They just basically enhance that. So now it's like when you're when you have your your back turned, the teachers, some of them, not all of them, and these in certain communities and certain pockets of people will tell your child, well, your parents can't tell you not to think that. Your parents can't tell you not to do that. No. You, 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 you have to be who you want to be. And when you tell the child that, you know what the child does when he comes home? When you tell them to sit down, I want to be what I want to be. You can't tell me what to be. And then eventually it goes from there and it escalates into from 10 to 12 to 14, 18. And then now your kids hate you and now your kids doing whatever they were told by these people who didn't even raise them. And guess what? Those people don't even care. Yeah. It's messed up, man. It's messed up. But it is. Anything else to say?
before we get out of here? No, no. Shout out to Neo, though. Shout out to Neo, you know what I mean? Shout out right to Neo, on, man. Bro. Fighting a good fight, man. You know what I'm saying? I know it hurts y'all feelings, but I'm just going to be clear with y'all. You can, you can be delusional all you want. You can say that you believe a man is a woman and a woman is a man. You can do that. But I'm not a part of that. I'm sorry. You can call me whatever you want to call me. But reality is reality. That's it. You could be whatever you want. But you can't make me believe it. And you cannot make these children believe it either. So, this is what it is, man. Sketchpad. We out of here. Peace. See ya. Go on.